with all this UFO disclosure going on, have you ever wondered just why they've been covering it up this whole time? Well, today I have 11 pages of notes and visuals that will shed the light on it, on all of it for you. Welcome to Soul Spy University, where your souls can run free and your minds are free to expand. We watched Dr. Stephen Greer's The Lost Century, so you don't have to. But first, it is imperative and so appreciative for the survival of our content to you that our content to you gets supported by a like so we can keep existing. Um, subscribe to make sure we stay alive. And sharing helps continue our existence as well as surviving this vast YouTube Z. It's true. Also, there's a donation link in the description box for anyone ever interested um, in further, further supporting our content to you. Um, it does mean the absolute most to us, as well as a list of what I'm personally available for uh, in the description box. Okay, diving right in. We only have 40 minutes or less. Um, we're going to breeze right through this. I have to distract myself from Tommy to distract me. Um, okay, so basically I have 11 pages of notes. Um, Tommy and I might first go through the first like seven pages together. He has his own notes. Um, and then from seven on, I have a lot to say. Um, so yeah, Dr. Stephen Greer's latest documentary, I found to be moving with his golden light shining to expose the truth of what's been going on all along and what we can actually do about it. In his latest masterpiece, he goes on to expose the roots of why, just why there's been a UFO cover up all along, which I have heard prior, but not in this amount of detail. He's went into great detail for years at seminars, deciphering what is man-made UFOs versus the real ones. I keep covering top. Okay. Um, <laughs> Um, he claims the man-made ones were made by reverse engineering the real ones. He go, also goes into deep detail on how basically due to that, we can and could have this whole time been surviving off of clean and free energy. However, the powers that be have other motives if you follow the money. He basically said 90% or more are misinformed and both are right and wrong. These secrets go so deep. Um, and he goes on to name numerous people who have died as a result of actually coming up with clean energy. Um, and that's, I have a lot on that guys. Uh, so Tommy and I are both gonna sort of cover that. And like I said, from page seven on, I will definitely be covering most of it. Um, but yeah, this was, this was a crazy, crazy documentary, right Tommy? Yeah, man, this was uh, this was one of those things that I I've it blew my mind. It blew my mind. I I understood beforehand, but this like it like it expanded my brain to freaking want to try and do something. Which is awesome uh, for him, guys, because you know how he usually is. Yeah. What? <laughs> Um, yeah, so it starts out by explaining that actually Nikola Tesla um, did invent clean energy, that this is in fact not a rumor. Um, he goes on to show us the documents. Um, Dr. Stephen Greer is not one to just tell us anything. He shows us the receipts. He tells us what's actually out there and declassified for us to see and gives us de uh, classified information as well. So um, yeah, they... And that basically what happens is if all the truth came out UFO wise, they would have to be revealing that they've concealed this free energy that would not only save the life of the planet, but of all of our other species and ours. Um, there's been alternate energy propulsion devices since prior to the sixties as, and they are and were unfunded opportunities. Um, they were kept secret. Um, and they made man-made UFOs out of them. Poor government secret tech, which is another reason we cover AI. Um, yeah, so in the 40s, zero point energy field from radio energy has been achieved by Nikola Tesla, okay? Um, they denied him. I specifically remember them mentioning JP Morgan actually denied him. Um, 
And I believe, I know for a fact that after he died, uh, they raided his house and got all of his documents. Yeah, uh, they raided the hotel room that he was in. The FBI, wait, was it the FBI? I think it was. Yes, the FBI went in and forced the, the owner of the hotel to open up uh, Tesla's private safe. And they show proof of this by um, showing a document from the, the um, Department of Defense telling the FBI to give them all the information that they they took from Tesla. Yeah. And it, it's, it's crazy. It's like, yeah, of course it, they took it. Like it was free energy. He made a whole thing in, uh, what was it? Long Island? Like he, he made it. He made that whole tower that pulls in free energy from the atmosphere. And JP Morgan's like, I mean, you can't do anything. You can't charge anything with this. This is like crazy. So he basically uh, made it a, a point to destroy Tesla's career. Yes, yes. And wasn't it his wife that was um, frightened on the phone with her sister? Like, what do I do? Oh, that was a different person? Yeah. Okay. Well, next we got Rich Jody, who claims a car can run on no gas. You don't need an electric bill since the 20s either. Um, advises... Uh, yeah, advises if you ever wonder why we need oil, gas, or coal to follow the money. Um, plant this, uh, pl planet aside is not only happening, but has been since the 20s. Um, over 150 species go extinct daily, and the world is only 10% of what it was. Senior scientists of Exxon claimed 45 years ago, we only had 15 years left before critical decisions needed to be made for alternate forms of energy for the survival of all. Um, the government did not allow him to expose the extent of all of these risks and ramifications. Where yeah, that was uh, James Black. He was a, like you said, the senior scientist of Exxon and uh, they shut down his research, his information basically saying, it's okay. It's okay. It's no big deal. No big deal. Too much money's coming in. So, oh, well. Yeah. Greer admits there's zero accountability for any of this on either side. And we haven't needed to burn coal or need wires since the twenties. This is at the heart of non-disclosure. All the energy we're using is 66% is a waste, even in the electrical vehicles he's saying nowadays, 12% um, yeah. is renewable. Basically Sorry. what they're, what the the movie's talking about is they're trying they want to achieve but they're being suppressed something called over unity which is you put in a small amount of energy and you gain a large amount of energy and any scientific breakthrough any invention that comes close to it is immediately snuffed out yeah um, so like Greer said in a really nice way, he said these inventors a lot of times will have inventor syndrome, in which case they're like, they don't want to share it for free. They want to make a profit, you know, as of any surviving human. However, yeah. they always take it to their grave because it never gets past whatever. Um, the government or whoever will basically say, oh, yeah, 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 and pretend to do whatever. And then somehow they mysteriously are dead or assassinated, just straight up assassinated. Um, and their documents immediately seized after that. So it always gets taken to their grave. And Greer kept saying, hey, just give it to me. I'll give it to people for free. At least it's out there. And they they always take it to their grave. They don't realize. And, and sometimes by the time they realize that what Greer's saying is true about warnings and everything else, uh, it's too late. They're already, they're already, they call them up scared for their lives and they get killed. Not for yeah. What yeah. um some people were saying, uh, one of these guys was saying that uh, was a patent officer, is that every single U.S. military, I think not just U.S., I think world military, uh, has an official from them in working in the patent office. So all these people that think, oh, I'm going to make it big with this this idea, they are in there specifically to shut down things like this. 
to find out that somebody's trying to put up a patent for an energy saving, energy creating, anything that would, you know, go against the status quo as it is, you know, oil companies, energy companies, coal companies, uh, lithium yeah. companies. So they basically find out real quick that uh, their dreams will not be coming true. Absolutely. Great catch, Tommy. And also, here's a picture of um, Dr. Stephen Greer in the movie. He explains the methods of energy suppression, meaning um, how they go about, like, has Tommy mentioned one example, um, suppressing any sort of free energy there is out there. Keep in mind, what's really going on behind the scenes is that they had some UFOs and have been reverse engineering them and have been coming up with this the whole time or taking others' paperwork after they're mysteriously dead. But here, you guys, take a, picture, uh, take a look at this picture of all the methods of energy suppression. And uh, you could read it if you want. I mean, see, I'm reading it backwards, but black shelving buyout, national yeah. secrecy order. Sorry, I'm reading it backwards, Kevin. Uh, patent seizures for national security reasons. That's what I was just talking about. Financial yep. entanglements via investors. Basically, they they invest it and they put them in court until they're bankrupt. Uh, legal entanglements, the same exact thing. Credible threats to individuals and or their families. Of course, scientific fraud. They they use uh, they pay off scientists to de debunk it and say, oh, it's not true. It's, it can't happen. Media corruption, obviously. And then there's the last one, which is wet works. And wet works is assassination. Oh, God. Uh, yeah, Paul. Um, yeah. So basically, 51 years ago, 22 efficient percent efficiency was achieved in energy, which is supposedly what we just got up to in 2022, meeting headlines everywhere, which is another thing we'll get to. There's a reason you're tuning into real news right now. Um, and uh, Tom Ballone says this is not a conspiracy. It's secret size. Um, shows methods, yes. Paul Lavalette accomplished free energy in the 1930s, then had multiple assassinations attempts. Um, Greer's good friend and Project Blue Book's Charles Brown came up with free energy in the 80s, and his lab was destroyed. Oh, not, not, not free energy. He came up with um, just something that would extend extra energy. Nothing. It wasn't free. It was, it was a little... More efficiency. More efficiency. Yeah, more efficiency. Uh, you would just put it at the end of your muffler of your car, and it would give you an extra 20 to 40% in miles per gallon. And his whole entire lab was destroyed. All his equipment was uh, confiscated or destroyed. And then there were bomb threats left and right until basically he sh he, he couldn't go. He could continue. Yeah, a type of freer energy. Good, good job. Okay, they're claiming the EPA, which is the Environmental Protection Agency, is actually a policing agency, which is very ironic. Um, there was a man that came up with an electric motor by the last name of Gray. He too had inventor syndrome, took it to his grave as well. Uh, Sparky Sweets, same thing. Cold fusion was invented in 1989. Uh, then of course the person gets killed and all docs confiscated after each death again. Um, well, I mean, they, they had this, they had this for a long time, like 1921 is when the guy had an electric car pulling in electricity from the atmosphere to move this vehicle. 1921, uh, nine, I'm sorry, 1902, there was a farmer working with Nikola Tesla who had something called um, the earth battery. And it's basically this weird battery that goes into the, into the earth and pulls electricity out of the earth to help maintain his farm and uh, work his uh, equipment and everything. That was in 1902, people. Yes, very good, Tommy. And, you know, Stephen Greer um, shows us all the uh, declassified and classified documents proving all of these things. Uh, Mr. Malone came up with cold fusion at MIT in 2004. Um, you know, now it's 33 years later. Meyer's invention of a water-powered car in 1995. Stan Meyer was assassinated yeah. in OC also after achieving zero-point energy field. Um, and Dr. Greer goes on to say he wants to achieve this, release it out to the public, 
He will run a lab with a 24 seven live streaming surveillance for security uh, purposes, uh, which we will get to all this at the end. Me and Tommy will be having an open discussion, but for now we're just running through the facts for you guys. So we have time. Um, but yeah, this tech was literally shown at a 1988 hovering tech sh uh, show at the secret air show. And when asked where they got such concepts, they said uh, they copied it. Um, October of 1954 is when they mas mastered gravity control technology. So by the 80s, this was beyond fully operational since they've been working on it since 1948. Um, fun fact, during that Clinton administration, over a hundred million dollars was spent daily on black budget projects. Um, and I just made a joke in there. Like, looks like I finally found my place in politics, Tommy. I'm, it's to get assassinated apparently um, because I'm exposing all this. Okay, my phone, don't. Anyway, um, here are some of the just some of the, let's see, yeah. So basically he goes on to say, we've had this technology for so long and all the pictures I'm about to show you from all these different places were of man-made technology, okay? So this is uh, Twin Falls, Ohio. This is uh, November 20th, 1956, Dan Nielsen, Connecticut. These are all man-made. So all these UFO reports, obviously they're real. People did see things. They are of man-made objects, but the reason why they exist, this is Melbourne, um, is because actual UFOs were reverse engineered, which is what's coming out now. The reason why they're hiding this is because then they'd have to hide that they've had this technology the whole time that they've derived from the real ones, because how else are they coming up with that really? Um, and the reason why that's such a cover up, Mobile, Alabama, uh, Kent, New York, 1983, um, Croton Falls, New York, 1983, Westchester County, New York, 1983, a lot happened then. And guys, this is just some of them. I mean, there's so many, but the reason why this is such a cover up is because you know, he had good friends that passed in the, uh, the Challenger incident. And we all know about Apollo 13. Well, if any of them were briefed on this, they'd still be alive today. Uh, the, yeah, they've been saying all the tech we've been using since the forties in terms of, you know, gas, cars, electric, wires are obsolete. MIC, yeah. the military industrial complex existed prior to the CIA um, and the industry in it basically means follow the money. They are fossil fuel giants, oil, coal, gas companies and pharmaceutical companies, all of which fund the media giants that give you your news, which they give you the news that suits their existence if you get where that's going. Um, the macroeconomic system to protect currency is built on a crumbling system. It should have been transferred to something more stable over a hundred years ago, um, just like the Exxon exec said. Um, and yet Stephen Greer says we're running out of time. If we started converting it all right now, it would take 15 years. He says we barely have that. The number he was given was 20, 24 to 20. No, I got that wrong. 2040 to 2045, and then we're done. Yeah. Um, so, all right, I got two. I'm going to plow through this, Tommy, and then we're going to open it up for discussion, okay? Yep. Okay. So, guys, also, the author of Climate in Crisis um, said RFK Jr. wrote in his intro of the book that he wrote, he said, they work together in lockstep coordinated by Capitol Hill trade as associations, lobbying firms, captive agencies, and paid off politicians to increase authoritative control, to transfer all of us into mindless consumers, to shift middle-class wealth, to billionaire plutocrats, to liquidate our purple mountain maj majesties 
and our entire planet, they have declared war on democracy and personal freedom. U.S. Senator Daniel Inau constantly said a shadowy government with its own Air Force, its own Navy, its own fundraising mechanisms, and its abilities to pursue its own ideas of natural interest, free from all checks and balances, and free from the law itself. He goes on to explain, Dr. Stephen Greer, that there's the constitutional government that we all know, and there's, then there's this other one with its secret government operations that has its own technology, not sanctioned by the president, not sanctioned by Congress. It has more money, more power, and obviously, as you can see now, more technology. It's a criminal enterprise that uses all of our tax dollars to destroy our planet and impoverish half of it. Exactly, no and we're still paying for that. We're paying for something that we can never touch. Yeah, he, there's over 109 crash retrieval cases. Um, the world has 15 billionaires and six corporations, most of which are media and communications that rely on ad revenue coming from oil companies and pharmaceutical companies. So basically I mean, what they're saying is it's a controlled economy and a controlled media. There's a reason that every single president has all their donations coming in from these energy companies, oil companies. It's insanity, people. They're, it's just puppetry. Yes. Let me read you guys a CIA document from 1991. And I'm going to show you the picture when I'm done. Um, so PAW now has a relationship with reporters from every major wire service, newspaper, Newsweekly, and television network in the nation. This has helped turn some intelligence failure stories into intelligence success stories, and it has contributed to the accuracy of countless others. In many instances, we have persuaded reporters to postpone, change, hold, or even scrap stories that could have adversely affected national security interests or jeopardized sources and methods. Crazy, crazy. Yeah. I mean, uh, you always thought it was true. You always kind of figured it was true. Oh. But now it's like... Yeah. Um, sweet associate Morris Campbell wishes he never saw free energy since he wakes up at 3 a.m. in such pain knowing all this pollution can be cleaned up and he can't do anything. We'll get more on that in a second when we're in an open discussion. Um, but yeah, he knows and everybody knows if that tech was shared with us, in 20 years, there'd be universal peace and no poverty. We're a hundred years behind and not real, and not because we're really behind, but because we're kept in the dark. Um, there was a Rendlesham Forest incident at Air Force Base in the eighties. Um, he says that there is a declassified version of this, but he's also sharing the classified parts as well. So basically there was a black triangle floating Mm -hmm. And these luminous beings came out and said, we're your descendants that have become interstellar from 500,000 years in the future. And we won't exist if you keep going on this path. Um, these beings seem to time travel slash materialize in 1980 because this is a nuclear weapons facility they appeared at. And if it had been exposed, there would have been World War III. Um, so this actually raises some deep questions right now. Um, so yeah, about that part, you know I'm all about luminous beings, but my thing is if World War III already happened and they're coming back to tell us to prevent it, right? Because yeah. then they wouldn't have existed. How do they then exist to come back and tell us? Um, I think that I don't, I don't, th th that's like a time tra traveler's paradox. Who knows? Uh, and if it didn't happen, why would they come back and warn it? I, you don't, know? Think, I don't think it would have happened either way. But I think that's just them coming back and being like, you know, just to make sure, let them know. Maybe that'll also stop any future. Yeah, that's a weird one. I mean, that's a good point. That's a good point. Um. Now, 
what's interesting is if it did happen. And so here's what's interesting about all that. Possibly this is how the Mandela effect or alternate realities were created. Mm-hmm. Is that something came back in the past, altered something in history that we knew. And now we're in an alternate reality, which is how we're all noticing this Mandela effect, right? Perhaps that gave birth to other alternate realities, just like Max Laughlin said. Um, and and that, that may have been the cause of it. Um, also, Max Laughlin mentioned this Large Hadron Collider gave birth to alternate realities. Perhaps in one of these realities, World War III didn't happen like this one. And this is where, in that reality, these beings were born 500 years 500,000 years from now and they come back and warn yeah um so that's that's interesting that's interesting this whole entire like documentary was uh it was it was so mind expanding uh yeah the thing was actually could you pause it for one second I just gotta fix something it's really annoying yeah so yeah um one thing that's like huge, and it's actually some information that's in the movie, um, is that all these Tic Tacs, remember, you know, everybody knows about the Tic Tac alien spaceships. Mm-hmm. Um, they are created by Lockheed Martin, Lockheed Concourse. It's an air, you know, company, whatever. And from a letter, written letter from the president at the time, Ben Rich, Somebody had asked, uh, you know, why, like, are these UFOs man-made? And he wrote, the the president of the company of Lockheed's Concord wrote, many of our man-made UFOs are unfunded opportunities, which means we can make so much money with these UFOs of ours, but even they are being suppressed not to be, not to let it out because of the oil companies are, and all that, the energy companies are just too big, even for this, even for a secret of people who are making uh, UFOs, like re- recreating UFOs, they're told, do not put them out because of the energy, the free energy that they are used, that used to uh, operate. Yeah, yeah. That, so guys, this is at the heart of all the cover up, you know, um, you know, all these theories we came up with that they think we're not ready, this, that, and the other. Not about that. Uh, apparently, no. Dr. Stephen Greer outlines it very well in this recent documentary. He's had previous documentaries, which are also stunning. Um, but this one exposes why there's been, um, he's always ahead of the game, why there's been a cover up and what we can do about it for the sake of our planet. Yeah, it's old fashioned greed. Uh, I don't like, I, 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 I understand what he's saying. If people know about how to make free energy, if there's, if you're an engineer out there, you're a scientist and you have a device, I understand the, the want to make money, but know that you will not. You will be completely shut down. Okay, just don't say certain words. <laughs> unalive. Right. Apparently, unalive is the word to say on YouTube now. Okay, you will. You will. They. They. They will not allow you to proceed. You will not make money on this. You will do a better. Your 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 spirit, your soul, will be so much better sharing this with the world freely, so that we can keep surviving. Yes, because many, as we know, have tried. If you guys watch this documentary, and if you don't have the money, we totally understand. We don't either, but we did it for you guys. Um, but if you guys do watch it, I mean, it was so worth it. We we actually um, we actually got it on Wednesday to rent, um, and then when we went to watch the rest of it two days later, it said, "Oh, you didn't watch the full thing within forty eight hours, so you can't." We were going to watch it separately so we could do it on here. And 
Uh, we ended up just buying the thing, which we never do, but that's how good it was. And we're really grateful we did that for the last 20 minutes of it because that was huge as well. Um, Tommy, as you guys know, is never this passionate about anything and it moved him. I find this extremely riveting. Um, and he, you know, Dr. Stephen Greer just wants us to hop off the, just so you know, Tommy, we have eight minutes left. Um, I don't know if it shows on this end, but uh, hop off the Hopi prophecy timeline uh, of us going extinct and going to one where we're eternal. Yeah. Um, which, uh, yeah, so, so, and he says we can do that if we do this. I mean, he's, his sense of urgency is huge. Um, you could feel it throughout the whole thing. He's lost friends to this. Um, he's not trying to be mean about anyone getting unalived as a result of this. He just had to give all the examples and the proof um, because this is huge, obviously, when someone gets unalived. And I'm sorry for keep saying that, guys, but uh, Tommy, I'm not crazy. It's a YouTube thing. I'm serious. Um, Can we say dealt with? Or Yeah, I guess we're over. It's hard. Don't realize, yeah. You know, because anyone, anyone could sign up to be dealt with. Yeah. You know, you don't know. That could range from anything. But this this documentary, man, I uh, highly recommend it. Highly, highly recommend it. It, it, it it's, it's like I, I feel like if I win the lottery today, I would give a substantial portion to help Stephen Greer with this because of the research. My only my only only thing is like how do you fight something so big uh these oil they're 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 trillions and trillions of dollars like everything else all these cover-ups and everything big surprise greed greed is what keeps us in the dark we can't judge you know i think they just wanted to survive just like the rest of us what are you talking about how can we not judge they're keeping us in poison they're they're oh poisoning. you're talking about that okay okay i thought you meant the original inventors that got killed no no i'm talking about the the, the companies they're, they're they're killing us so that they can make a profit unaliving they're unaliving the hell out of us <laughs> our, oh our world goodness we could wow. live see in... now i'm wondering though how is he okay with exposing them like, oh, I'm sure he has a lot of security around him. He's got security. He does want to. He does want to figure this out. He knows people can figure it out because they have before. Um, he just, you know, how much money can he really put in? He's put in so much these documentaries all by himself, all these things. Um, so he needs he needs some public funding for sure. Yeah, I'm sure he has a lot of backers that are helping as much because people like greed is all well and good, but people, I mean, this is just like. This can free us in this world. This can, like, imagine never having to go outside and see wires everywhere. The, yeah. the Guys, electrical. If, yeah. If like, you watch the documentary, it displays what Tommy's saying, and it's absolutely beautiful. It's so gorgeous. It moved me to tears. Um, yeah. They're talking in the in the documentary, they're talking about the creation of ball lightning, which is what. Um, Everything, every neuron, every little like thing that goes in and out of our existence creates energy, and they can to ball lightning is this this this. It's hard to explain. You have to watch. You have to watch, but it's it's a basically like a a, a cylinder of miniature lightning balls of, of energy, and it just it's just it pulls in energy from the atmosphere, and a house can run on one of these things a city can run on these things and it's just free it's free energy no more batteries that you have to replace no more solar panels by the way solar panels today where is that thing have 22 only uh have 22.8 percent efficiency which is crazy like what's the point yeah uh, it's just it's 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 disgusting when you watch it. You think you you understand that these people are ruining this world just for money. It's it's it's. 
And, you know, it my stomach. yes. And as, as stated in this podcast, um, if you guys didn't realize what I was saying before, the news is controlled by these companies as well. So that the reason why that alien disclosure first thing with um, David Rush didn't air as quick as it did is because a lot of news just didn't allow it. Um, and then they come back and say, oh, yeah, we did. We, 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 we were getting there, mm, you know, um, because if the reason for the, at the heart of disclosure is that if they reveal, oh yeah, uh, you have always been coming to us this whole time, um, maybe more truth would come out that half the UFOs they're seeing is man-made and how they made it was from these UFOs. You see how it all ties together? If they have to reveal that half the UFO sightings are man-made, they would have to reveal they have this technology the whole time and they're liable for a lot. Um, I just hope at this point, we just put away our differences and just realize the sake of all of us are at stake, including them. I mean, this was so riveting, it turned Tommy into a scientist like instantly. I was like, oh, damn, you know. Hmm. I've always been a scientist. <laughs> all of a sudden this man had a pulse. I was like, okay, <laughs> sole mission found for him, you know, <laughs> whatever. Um, but, you know, you know, so guys, two minutes left, by the way. Um, so yeah, I mean, this was huge. This is huge. It makes so much sense now. Yes. It's, it's, it's people, it's called the lost century. You could find it on Amazon and all these other Amazon prime. You could find it all kinds of different little things. Highly recommended. I want to know how, he, recommended. how he's okay. Dr. Stephen Greer. You know, like he said, he's going to shut up 24 seven security if they could do a lab. Uh, so that'd be good. But he's also really good at mostly not blaming anyone, you know, like here and well, there, he there's individuals, the huh? He blames the shadow government. Makes me wonder, makes me wonder, makes me wonder. I love him. If I ever met him, we'd be best friends no matter what. My thing is, and I have less than a minute left, was it all the government the whole time? But he's now hired by the government so people don't hate the government we know. So now it's no, a separate no. shadow one. It's not It's not the government the whole time. It's the... That's what he's the, saying. The to me, that We only know that because he said that. Well, he said he, that he's they... He's not killed because they're, they, he's working with them. We have less than a minute, by the way. Okay, he's saying that they control the the aircrafts, but the it, the simple fact is the oil companies and the energy companies control everything. The money is where it is, and they are trillionaires. No, we know that. I was just I was just providing a possible theory. Either way, we're totally on Doctor Steer Doctor Kashimi side, no matter what. We I absolutely, absolutely back him up, no matter what. And uh, you guys, uh, we're going to be covering more of this. We're just getting cut off right now, so make sure to subscribe. Give a yep. like. We love you. It's going to be okay. Watch the movie. If not, we'll cover more of it. Uh, let us know in the comments. This is absolutely mind-blowing. Um, absolutely mind-blowing. So, uh, yeah, let's, let's survive. Bye, let's guys. Survive. <laughs> Bye.